I uh, generally get uh, the priority for the patients, really. I make sure the patient is well educated on the subject. I really do not, uh, I try to avoid seeing anybody who's not even read about it and says, okay, I'm here, tell me about it, doctor. There's so much to say. And there's so many different factors that I've mentioned that goes into a great hair transplant that is difficult to convey in an hour of, of, uh, of consultation. So uh, I, I try to make sure uh, my own website is as detailed as possible. I ask them to read that. I, ask, I encourage them to read other people's websites and certainly independent websites. And once they've read everything uh, and then come in and ask me questions about themselves in particular, I usually show them various scenarios before and after photographs and numbers of graphs and even maybe provide them with a, a, a patients of mine who ha, you know, there's quite a few of them who are happy to talk to this to this patient even meet them in person uh, uh, I th they do it because people are enthusiastic about it uh, but again what I give them I tell them look there's two things that you should consider one the issue of maintaining your own hair and that's be done with medications. Then the other issue is about restoring the hairs that you've lost. Um, I take their family history, take their own history. If I feel the hair loss is stable, then I tell them my advice, which is, look, if you are a Norwood 6, 7, then I can give you a really good front, really good top, uh, maybe a thin crown. But if their hair loss is less than that, they can have pretty realistic results all over the scalp. I then explain to them about, you know, taking the hair from the back, that you will have a scar at the back, you may not be able to shave your head, or if you do, then the scar may be visible, making sure they understand all that. Um, but at the same time, uh, I have to say, most people t tell me they don't have intent, if they had the intention of shaving their head, then they, they wouldn't have had the surgery in the first place. But I make sure they understand every issue involved, from all the benefits and side effects of medications, to all the benefits and complications of surgery. Um, and then I make sure they do not make a decision on the day go home, think about it. Even though I said, no, I've decided I want it now. I said, look, you can't have it today or tomorrow, so what's the point? Go and think about it, and then give us a call when, when, you, when you understood everything. And I also tell them, after the consultation, go back to the websites. Read again, because things may make sense in a completely different light.